what role will crypto play in the next market crash? Well, let's look at the numbers here. Crypto was the investment of 2017. That was the year that the Bitcoin started to get all over the news. Um, incredible rise in the cryptocurrency. Bitcoin went up to 20,000 uh, BTC to USD in late 2017. Now that has crashed over two thirds right now as of this video, Bitcoin is at 6,700. So right now there's a lot of luster lost out of the, uh, out of the crypto market. However, that could all change with the next stock market crash. And look, stock market crashes happen. They usually happen about every 10 to 20 years. It's 2018, there's a double top in the market. There's a possibility that there may be a market crash in the next 12 months. And it'll be really interesting to see what will happen to Bitcoin and the rest of the cryptocurrencies. Would the rest of the cryptocurrencies fall with the market or will they be, become this safe haven that people will pour their money into? So how can we tell what will happen to cryptocurrencies during the next market crash? One great thing to do is look at previous market crashes and what has gone up during those market crashes. During the last big market crash, 2007, 2008, we had the financial crash and the housing market, cra uh, housing market crisis. The one asset that not necessarily went up a lot but held steady was gold. A lot of money... Um, went into gold, but not as much as you think because a lot of people, they trade on margin during market booms and when they have to get out of their trade, they have to liquidate everything and that means people have to sell their gold at some point just to get out of a trade, um, especially if they're on margin. So if we do, well, when we have the next market crash, I believe that um, crypto will hold its value better than the stock market. However, people who are trading on margin will have to liquidate everything, and that's going to include liquidating uh, cryptocurrencies. However, I do see cryptocurrency being a little different from gold in that if we have, if during this market crash, financial institutions begin to get taken out, and that's a very huge possibility because they essentially, um, the, the, our financial, our banks have become financial and investment institutions, so they're both tied together. You, there was a point decades ago when banks were um, were not tied into the stock market too much. Now, when markets go down, banks could go down with it. And if that happens, you could see a lot of people who will just panic and they're not going to want any of their assets in a bank or anything that can be destroyed by um, a market plunge. So they're naturally going to put that into some people will put it into gold. I think older people will still believe in gold more than crypto, but a lot of younger people will put their money into crypto. A lot of people who live in like China who really can't get access to gold as easily will find a way to get into a crypto market. Um, in Asia and a lot of countries, obviously, where it's harder to get into gold. So I do see if the market crashes and a lot of financial institutions begin to go down, cryptocurrencies will become, for a lot of people, one of one of two safe havens. Actually, I think it'll be crypto and it'll be precious metals. Both of them will hold their value or begin to go up as financial institutions fail. So how do you play this? It's very important to, to look at when you see these safe havens. The safe havens are not really long-term investments for a majority of your cash. If you panic and you say, I don't want my money in the stocks, I'm going to go on to crypto. Just bear in mind, when people put their money into gold during the financial crash, gold did go up somewhat in 2008 and 2009, but then gold rolled over as equities went back up because people said, okay, the coast is clear. I'm going to take my money out of gold, put it back into the equity market. So what you can see is if when the market crashes, people will put their money into crypto, but when the market recovers, and markets usually recover anywhere from like 12 to 36 months after a crash, people will take their money out of crypto and put it back into equities. Because equities, even though equities may not rise as fast as crypto and other investments, it's considered the stable growth investment for a lot of people. So just bear in mind, if you do, if the market does crash and you do put your money into crypto, 
that that's that's not a decades long position you really want to hold with the majority of your money because as soon as the coast is clear in the equity market crypto will roll over and the equities will keep chugging along at that you know nine to ten percent annual return rate okay so i hope you enjoyed this video if you did please be sure to like share and subscribe thanks bye